ceremony of prayer again. Please, if you are new to this channel, or this is the first time you come across our video, or you've been watching our video without subscription, please do us a favor by clicking on that subscription button, and also click on the notification bell so that anytime we upload new video, you'll be one among the people that watched it. As I normally said, our YouTube channel is not only for us to show you buildings, but to teach you, in case you're a builder, who don't understand the procedures of putting a building up like this very well or you are building somebody's building for you if the person do a mistake then you can be able to detect from our video and said no i saw some professional building this is what and what they do and I always leave it free for people to drop comments tell us what you see at our building before we start talking that we are better tell us that this area, no, this is not how it's done. This is how it is being done because I'm holding my camera, I'm saying this because I am very 100% sure when it comes to building construction like this, we know it too well. We know the procedures we need to pass before the building stands for lifetime. Okay, if you see that guy up there, now we are in another stage. If you see that brother up there, is doing a different thing. I told you anytime we do different thing in our project, I'll take my camera up and show you. If you watch what he's holding on, on his hand here, let me zoom the camera if you can be able to see him well. Okay. This stage we'll fix our parapet. It looks different from what you see before. We'll fix our parapet. But we don't cast it yet. The reason we don't cast it yet is that guy up there needs to put that you see that is having the sun the aluminium kind of wires that is holding the sun that is the roofing wood hook so you need to hook it on the metal rod on top there so that when we are doing roofing those things that is having the sun will now hold the roofing wood and if you see what is holding there is aluminium kind of silver they don't rust so it's not people use metal iron to do roofing hooks and with time we all know that iron will get rusted especially when it's exposed to air and if that air mostly contains salt it will rust quickly and we all know what happened to iron when it's rusted so i can't say more than that you know it so but what is happening in this hand here is aluminium or silver they don't rust they have anti-rust already in them that no rust can attack them so the guy is hooking up with a piece of iron there already you cannot see the iron because the parapet cover it then tomorrow that's the next day they will cast it they will cast the iron and cast the parapet so then the roofing can start all right guys just like i always do i always show you our property you guys see this land when it was empty like this it was bushy we clear all this environment we use one space at working space then we use other space for building but this is what the building is coming up now you see the front of the house our pillar is wide big standing with 12 millimeter iron rod inside then our parapet designs is top there as you guys can see very clear then if you look on top there you see our water tank you guys see when we take when we drill the borehole when we take the tank stand, when we put the tank up and everything. So that's it above there. The solar panels are also there. So right here, I want to turn the camera to show you another view, not showing you in one view. So that's the side of the building. As you can see, the guy is still going around to tap the steel, the aluminum, silver steel the iron before the casting which he cast the concrete casting will be able to hook up the parapet all right i'll take my camera inside to interview our parapet designer uh, mr uche mr uche can you come over please that's uche is our top top designer when it comes to parapet this is the guy so we'd like to know his nationality his name and his work few all right, uh, Uche, we'll draw the camera very close. My fans have seen what you are doing. So the parapet design and the window cover design. So maybe I mentioned few. 
I want you to mention all the things that you do in this company. That's the first question. But in, tell my fans your name. Yes. First of all, my name is Uchen Namweshi. Uh, I'm from Imo State. I'm a Nigerian nationalist. I make uh, parapet designs, window designs, interior designs, and the uh, um, pillar designs, any type of designs for pillar. That's what I make. Okay, guys, you hear what he's doing now? So, we see what you've done here, and it's a pretty solid job. And that's why on the camera for my fans to also see. And for them to drop comments and tell us that we are doing well or we're not doing well. Because we don't learn when we come to the site what's professional to the field. So, what exactly that is going on now in this building? Yeah, we are trying to make the... Um concrete for the parapet okay yeah, after the um routine man hang the iron finish you have to make the concrete so that the parapet will be ready for roofing. okay so why do you right now we see that you fix your parapet they look very straight and very smooth and we see that you use some uh, wires to hold them yes. they are not being connected to the wall yet yes. so yes. what is the reason that you want to cast concrete on that underneath the parapet yeah first of all we even we are going to put another iron inside to hook the parapet because we mold the parapet put iron inside the hook so that we are doing a solid work there to some people make there they don't put iron inside but our own will put iron to give you guarantee so that the parapet when you make concrete will strong all right guys let me give more explanation more light to what he's saying people mold the parapet and hang it and cast it we all know, in case you don't know, I always said, the cement you cast, the concrete you cast at the same time stick together. But something, the concrete you cast and recast another day, they might have separation in the future because they did not grow together. So if you can see, the top we have the beam, the concrete beam, we call it roofing beam, before this parapet. Now this parapet have covered that beam, concrete beam, the last beam now. So if you look at it very well, if you did not watch my previous video, it will be as if there was no concrete beam. So this parapet have covered the concrete beam right now. And we mold parapet, as Mr. Uche said, when we are molding, we put iron, a kind of hook behind it. Because people just mold parapet like this and put it. And that is why an issue of parapet falling down in the Gambia is too much. So what we do, we put hook, and I'm also advising Everybody in the world, the builders, and also a client that want to build his house without any contractor. You can build your house with any contractor. But please, if your contractor did not put hook behind the parapet, that will put, you heard what Richard said, that will connect that hook and chain it with the iron before they cast it. If you did not do that, there's a possibility in the long runs or short runs that this parapet will concrete will detach from the original parapet and fall off and when that happens it is very very risky that parapet is very heavy if you drop on somebody's head it's not injury but it's dead so there are some precautions we took that is why when i take my camera off i give you full details right so there are things that you don't ignore in building. Let me just fix and go. There are things you need to do underneath that people will not see. Right now, you will not see the hook underneath. But in one of our parapets, I will show you the one. Okay, is there any one down we don't fix yet? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll turn it and show them the hook. So that it will not be like we, we, we are just talking. Because right now we are talking. They don't see the hook. So you hook it before you cast concrete. That hook will be like a reinforcement to hold the parapet pinned to the wall for lifetime. All right, guys, uh, before I shut the camera down, let me show you the hook, then we'll take the camera down. Thank you. Okay, like as I said, before we drop the camera, I want to show everything that we said. This is one of the half parapet that we cut. You know, we come in full length, they will cut according to the place. And if you see here, okay, bring that up again, if you want to see. So, yes, actually ask him to break this one so that we can show you. You see how it's all started. So they say iron. You have some iron rods inside this parapet. We do not just mold our parapet without putting rod inside. Two, two rod. So there's one rod, this end and this side. So you can see that from this one that we broke. 
Then this iron is the hook I was talking about. You put the hook, and after casting, this is how the hook will appear. Would you touch the hook for them to see? Touch the hook from the parapet. Let them see. That's the hook. Yes, you see the hook. You see the hook. You see the hook. So take off this wire. Let them see. The galvanized wire. This wire have an anti rust. You guys see this galvanized wire. So we use this wire to hook, put on the hook, which I touch the hook back, put on the hook, and connect it with the beam, the casted beam. Yes, like what you see there. Connect it with the casted beam. Now something is holding it. Then we cast the concrete. Because there's a possibility that, you see this concrete here? We cast, this is a concrete. The, the parapet is a concrete. Then there's a possibility that this might detach from the wall in the future. But if we do this, you can always clip them. I will not give them that part to separate. Turn the front of the car parapet so that they will also see the design of the parapet that we are fixing. This is an off-cut. As I said, we are installing, so the off-cut is this. All right, guys, I'll take our camera down now and say thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. Please like, share. More importantly, drop your comments. Let the whole world see what we are doing. Tell us when we do right. If you see any wrong thing from us, also comment because we are very sure on that. All right, guys, we drop the camera now and say, May God bless you. Stay tuned to watch another interesting part of this video. Bye bye for now.